Hello everyone, this is Mark Van Ordering of the Brain Wagon Blog. Today I have a new gadget that I picked up while I was at Micro Center today. Micro Center now sells uh, some stuff from the SparkFun and Makershed catalog, um, including this little uh, serial LCD module. And uh, it's pretty simple. Um, hooking up LCD modules isn't really difficult. Uh, the normal way to do it, most of these are based on a Hitachi HD44780 chipset. And there's tons and tons of documentation, and indeed the uh, Arduino comes up with a uh, library that you can use to interface with these, so all the software's already been written. But I uh, saw this gadget, and it's a little bit simpler. This is base, basically a serially interfaced um, LCD module. So if you plug it in, you can see that it powers up. And all of that my uh, example code, as soon as it starts to run, will do is print a number and brain wagon, right? And you can see that it doesn't scroll, so it's just 16 characters, with two lines. It's got a nice backlight, really clear display. Uh, I haven't tweaked it at all uh, from the, bo from the box uh, settings. You can just set the backlight and contrast and all that kind of stuff if you like. And the interfacing is just dead simple. If you stare in the back here, you can see that I've got power in the ground, and it just goes to the TX line on the Arduino. So no problem at all. Um, it comes with this white JST header um, stuck in the top and includes a little pigtail that has um, some of that stranded wire stuff and it doesn't really go into breadboards very much. So I went ahead and found this uh, female header and soldered it in and then I just used some regular uh, jumper uh, cables that I had floating around to make this work. So this is literally five minutes of hacking. Dead simple. If you need an LCD panel that uh, is interfaced on, uh, you know, you can interface easily to anything, basically. This is a pretty good way to go. They're a little bit more expensive than just the raw modules. You can get some of the raw modules really cheap. Um, but uh, if what you want to do is get going and have a nice, smart-looking display and with a minimum of muss and fuss, it's a good way to go. Anyway, you'll probably see this in a project somewhere in the future. So I uh, just thought I'd let you know what I did on my Wednesday. This has been Mark Van Wittering of the Brain Wagon Blog.